Abrazo, gracias. Este, bueno, ahora continuamos con John Curran. He will present a written report. Welcome. Good morning. I'm John Curran, President and CEO of ARIN, the American Registry for Internet Numbers. We're the RIR that handles Canada, US, and about half of the Caribbean that's not handled by LACNIC. Um, I'll here give a quick update. Uh, I know you folks uh, had a, some of you had a late night, so I won't be too long. Um, so our mission, uh, very plainly, uh, we support the admin, uh, management and administration of IP addresses throughout our region. We do outreach uh, to support that cause as well. Uh, we're very focused. We are regional internet registry first and foremost. And so we spend a lot of time thinking about registry and registry services. We don't do quite as much as some of the other RIRs do in terms of community support and outreach because it's a very different community in many cases. Um, in terms of the region we serve, as I said, Canada, US, uh, about 25 Caribbean and North Atlantic economies. We serve um, some 38,000 organizations uh, total. Uh, 21,000 of them are customers under contract. So we serve both ISPs and end users. Many of the 21,000 are end users. And then member organizations, these organizations that are members of Aaron, uh, vote in our elections, vote for our board, 5,700 members. Um, so our focus, we uphold the multi-stakeholder model for management of internet number resources. We uh, are pushing, uh, continue to push very hard on ongoing IPv6 adoption in our region. Uh, we're enhancing the Aaron Online services. Um, we actually, uh, just if you went back just a handful of years, our online services were fairly primitive. Um, we've put a huge amount of work into that, and we're now at the point where we have uh, online services that are comparable, similar to what all the RIRs have at this point. And um, we work very hard on making sure we have a consistent global number registry system. It is actually one registry, even though um, there's five RIRs, it's actually one pool of numbers. So we spend a bit of time making sure that the framework that we all operate in is consistent. Um, some of our community engagement, we have Aaron on the road. We recently Aaron added Aaron in the Caribbean. Aaron on our road in the road is where we go through various um, uh, places throughout our region and hold many meetings. Uh, we are doing the same in Aaron Caribbean. I'll talk about more about that. We're doing quite a bit of uh, presentations and speaking on IPv6 and data accuracy. We're participating in uh, regional fora, uh, both, um, both internet governance related and network operations. Um, we're doing quite a bit of outreach for law enforcement and government. Uh, seems that governments have woken up. There's this thing called the internet and they need to know how to work with it. So we're spending quite a bit of time engaging with governments. Um, we're supporting uh, quite a bit of uh, community consultation and suggestion. In the Aaron region, uh, when something is outside of the policy process, uh, it's handled through our consultation, and we have at any given moment a handful of consultations open uh, on things like where we're going with our internet routing registry, um, submission, how people should be able to use Aaron online, what the format of our displays are. There's a wide range of suggestions. Um, and uh, we're doing uh, quite a bit of uh, uh, Aaron updates on our website, including active uh, quarterly e-news update, Aaron Bits. Um, Caribbean engagement. Last year we brought someone in specifically to target our work in the Caribbean, uh, Bevel. People uh, were quite aware of Bevel Wooding. Um, and uh, he's leading our Caribbean engagement activities, both with the network operators uh, and government in that region. We're doing uh, Aaron on the Road is now Aaron in the Caribbean for that. We have a whole series of meetings that we're holding, uh, doing public policy development, outreach and capacity building. Uh, and we've got liaisons in place with CTU, Caribnog, uh, Caribbean Internet Governance Forum in Canto to help support this activity. Um, transfers, this is a subset, this is the inter-RIR transfers. This is actually from the NRO statistics page. Uh, but if you go and look, you can see the number of IP addresses that have been transferred. And there's quite a bit between the RIRs. There's also a huge number within the Aaron region. We have an enormous number of transfers going on. It is uh, quickly becoming the majority of our activity. Um, member IPv6 holding increasing. We have 57% of our members have an IPv6 resource. We still have a lot of organizations who have no IPv6 resource. They haven't yet gotten there, and we're working on changing that. Um, 
recommended dra uh, draft policies and last call. Our community is busy cleaning up our policy manual because we're now in a post-depletion world. Aaron was, um, we didn't have the same sort of soft landing that other people had. So we ran out of V4 addresses completely. And that meant that now we're at the point where we're in a situation where we can clean up our policy manual, move on to a world of basically administration of number resources rather than focusing as much as on um, allocation and issuance policy. And so a lot of this is cleanup, uh, getting rid of old definitions that weren't need, aren't needed, um, and striking sections that are no longer used, making it more streamlined uh, based on administration of the registry rather than uh, issuance. The latest, uh, we were named the top work, one of the top places to work in the Washington DC area. Uh, we're very proud of that. They commute, this is based on a survey of employees in, that employees do in each organization. The Washington Post holds this. And uh, our, 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 not only do our members love us, but it turns out our employees love us too. Uh, it rated one of the top places to work. Um, we got our second customer satisfaction survey results, and this was actually very impressive. We do one every two to three years. We just did one, and uh, we had quite a few issues a few years back, areas where we were below where the community thought we should be. Almost all of those have been brought up. We're now, um, uh, we made progress uh, of more than 10 points in nearly every major category. Um, doesn't mean there's not more to do, but we're very pleased with our progress and the customer satisfaction that results. Um, we have ongoing Aaron Online enhancements, quite a bit of work going on. Uh, we're also doing a website redesign in conjunction with that uh, to better integrate our website and the uh, Aaron online system, make it more streamlined, uh, make it uh, easier for people to look at and uh, navigate. Um, and so hopefully that will make it easier when, if you folks uh, ever have to go in and work with Aaron online, it should make it easier as well. Uh, there's a preview site if you wanna see what our new website's gonna look like. You can go preview Aaron.net. Um, upcoming Aaron meetings, uh, oops, upcoming Aaron meetings, Vancouver, jointly with Nanog in the fall. We will be in Vancouver, a wonderful place. Feel free to come and visit us. And we have a fellowship program open. If you know anyone who would uh, be uh, able to uh, be better informed by coming to an Aaron meeting and would bring that information back to their community, uh, have them get to the Aaron fellowship program. We do provide for uh, about 15 people to attend each meeting on a fellowship that we can support. And that's it. I guess um, I'm done. Questions? Thank you for having me. Thank you very much, John. Now